Yeah, you know, that is one of the big questions. I can tell you a lot of police departments are working very closely together on all of this, including police departments all across the Wolverine state here, trying to bring these suspects into custody. Some of them already facing charges. This store, Alta behind me in Royal Oak, one of many that have been hit. Several Metro Detroit Police Departments closing in on what's being called a multi-jurisdictional retail fraud ring, ripping off numerous Ulta beauty stores like this one on the 27,000 block of Woodward in Royal Oak. The scene, say investigators, looks a lot like this crew in action, captured on surveillance video robbing an Ulta outside of Philadelphia. The brazen crimes shocking to fans of the chain. It's extremely disappointing that it's come to the point where you can't even go to your local beauty store to pick up something. Tierra Judge and Jasmine Phillips, both of West Michigan, charged in that December 23rd Royal Oak heist, accused of filling shopping baskets with pricey fragrances and making a run for it. According to Royal Oak police, who coordinated with cops in Shelby Township due to the suspects being spotted at an Ulta store there. They don't care about their lives. They don't care about the other lives that they put at risk, obviously. Warren police putting pressure on the perfume pirates as well after cops say an Alta was cleaned out there. Here's police commissioner Bill Dwyer. We've identified uh, uh, some suspects in the case. Uh, it's active right now, and uh, I believe that in the very near future we will uh, be making... Uh, several arrests of the persons responsible. Fox 2 sources say as many as 15 cities across the state have had Ulta locations hit by the ring, which numbers up to a dozen alleged participants. Uh, normally it's a group of three or more that, you know, enter the Target store. They move very quickly. They go to the most uh, expensive uh, merchandise they see. They swoop it up very quickly and they leave. Just outside Philadelphia, three women were arrested after police say they stole from several Alta shops and other retailers out that way. They are allegedly seen in this surveillance video stocking baskets with thousands of dollars in fragrances. And Warren police say they expect warrants to be issued tomorrow. And police also say that no matter the business, no matter the retail organization, invest in security cameras. They say that and silent alarms that can get back to police right away. Some of the best defenses that any business can make. Reporting live in Royal Oak, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yeah, big financial hit to Alta. And we know it's happening very quickly. And many of these perfumes are pretty accessible. Do we know if any stores are going to be making any changes? Did we hear from Alta? You know, we reached out to them yesterday. We haven't heard back just yet, but that is one of the big questions because you're talking about a lot of money, a lot of inventory, and, you know, people work when you sell, when uh, those sales are made, that goes to paying employees. So a lot of people shortchanged because of uh, this greed and thievery. Yeah, likely something will change very soon. Thank you, Dave Kinchin, for yep. reporting live for us.